All right, this is a channel about bourbon. So you might be wondering what I'm doing by my fireplace. So I've been thinking a lot about the process of how they make bourbon and they take these new oak barrels and they either toast them or they char them and then they add the distillate into the barrels and somehow it comes out tasting like bourbon. And something that I don't really understand is why doesn't that stuff come out taste, tasting smoky like, like the wood in my fireplace? So I'm gonna do a couple of experiments to see if I can figure this out. All right, so I'm here in my kitchen and I went out, I got a bag of um, American oak chips. Um, and my thought was that maybe I can try to recreate this process of, of what they're doing in the distilleries to see how my bourbon doesn't smell like a campfire. All right, so here's my toaster oven. We're putting it on bake and let's get that temperature set. Let's go 225 degrees. I don't necessarily want to set my um, house on fire. And then I've got some of these wood chips just on uh, some foil here. And let's put them in and try to, try to um, mimic that to toasting process. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. All right, so while those are toasting up, I've been thinking about this a little bit, and I think about like an onion, right? So you get like a Vidalia onion, and you bite into it, and it's gonna have that sort of um, sharp flavor. But if you take that same onion, and you put it into a pan, and you caramelize it, it caramelizes and brings out all the sweetness and the sugars. And at least, uh, we haven't talked about charring yet, but at least in this toasting process, that's the same idea. The toasting process is supposed to bring out these compounds like vanillin, which uh, obviously we, we recognize as a vanilla flavor, um, but yet doesn't necessarily impart a burnt taste to the wood. So let's see how that works. Alexa, stop the timer. All right, let's see what we have. So I definitely am getting um, some aromas in, in the kitchen. Um, that still smell like burnt wood, but uh, I don't see any smoking or anything like that. So let's pull them out and see what we got. Well, they're definitely not burnt. So, you know, still get that woody smell, but I'll tell you, there is definitely much more sweetness there. So I'm gonna add some water to this. Don't know if that's the right thing, but I'm gonna add some water to this and let it sit for a bit and see um, how the flavors come out. All right, so here I've got the untreated um, oak that's been sitting for about uh, about a week. These are the toast, this is the toasted oak, which just put it in the water. And then I actually turned up the heat to 500 degrees to kind of get more of a char um, on, and, and be careful if you do this, don't set your house on fire and don't set off your smoke alarm. But uh, to see again, if as these sit, and as the water penetrates into the wood, obviously it's not alcohol, but just curious to see how they, what they smell like. So we'll come back to them a couple of days and see what we have. All right, so the bowls have been sitting out for a while. So let's see how they, um, they smell. So here's the untreated wood. And just as we, you would expect, it's got a strong oak woody aroma. Um, I don't really get any sweetness out of that, but it smells just like you would expect, wet wood. Here's bowl number two. This is the toasted oak. And what's interesting is I still get some of that oak aroma, but it does not smell as, as oaky as, as the first untreated wood. So obviously something in that toasting process removes some of that, um, you know, that kind of wood, which I don't think you'd want like your, your whiskey to taste like wood. So the toasting process has removed some of that aroma. Here's the third bowl. This is the charred wood. And what's fascinating to me is that number one, it does not smell, there's no burnt smell to it at all, but also all of that oak um, smell has been removed. All right, so granted, this is a rudimentary experiment, but I think it's fascinating uh, to me that when you, when you burn you know, the oak, um, it yet, and, and it soaks, I mean, I know maybe soaking in liquid has something to do with it. it. It obviously removes some of those compounds that make it smell like wood, but it doesn't smell, it doesn't have a burning wood smell. So there's obviously a, um, you know, a relationship to what's actually happening when they make whiskey. So I'll probably do a few more experiments with this and see if we can't refine a little bit, but I just think it's fascinating. Anyway, comment and let me know if you think there's something I could do better or differently um, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.